Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the shortleaf pine. Shortleaf pine, Pinus echinata, is one of the commercially important southern yellow pines. And depending upon locale, the species is also called shortleaf yellow pine, southern yellow pine, old field pine, short straw pine, or Arkansas soft pine. It is a medium to large pine that grows 80 to 100 feet tall and up to 2 to 3 feet in diameter. The tree typically has a clear, straight trunk with small, somewhat pyramid-shaped crown. Shortleaf pine is relatively slow-growing and shade intolerant, and it reaches maturity at 170 years, a 170 years of age but may live much longer. Shortleaf pine has the widest geographic range of any pine in the southeastern United States. It's found in 22 states, and Arkansas has more shortleaf pine than any other state. Shortleaf pine has great adaptability for soils, moisture, and temperature. This is the hardiest and most adaptable of the southern pines. However, it grows best on moist, well-drained, deep, sandy, or silty soils. It commonly grows in even age stands, but in Kentucky it grows in a mix of oak pine stands on dry uplands. It is the pioneer species that commonly invades old fields that have been abandoned from agriculture. Shortleaf pine is generally fire resistant, but wildfires in young plantations in the south um, can be damaging. The crowns are usually killed, but young shortleaf pine has the remarkable ability to re-sprout after the main stem is destroyed by fire or cutting. And fire is an important uh, management tool for shortleaf pine. Fire effectively prepares the necessary seabed for regeneration and can be used con to control competing hardwoods. The Shortleaf Pine Initiative was launched in the spring of 2013 in response to the dramatic decline of this pine. Over the last 30 years, there has been a more than 50% decline in shortleaf pine ecosystems, with the most significant declines east of the Mississippi River. Extensive logging, subsistence farming, the loss of open-range grazing of livestock, and the lack of appropriate disturbances such as fire for subsequent regeneration have contributed to a decline in its range since 1980. The Shortleaf Pine Initiative was formed to develop a wide-range conservation, conservation plan for shortleaf pine to identify optimum restoration strategies, increase coordination among shortleaf proponents, and maximize the effectiveness of ongoing efforts. The Shortleaf Pine Initiative represents a broad range of public and private organizations as well as key state and federal agencies working in the shortleaf pine ecosystems. Shortleaf pine is an evergreen conifer with needle-like leaves. The needles are in bundles or fascicles of twos and threes, as you can see in the photo. The needles are typically three to five inches long, they're slender and they're flexible and they're typically dark yellow, green, more of a green in color, and the needles will typically persist two to four years. Shortleaf pine is monoecious, which means a tree has both male and female flowers. The flowers of shortleaf pine are cone-like structures, and the male flower is yellow-green to reddish-purple before ripening to a brown when the pollen is shed. The female flower is green to red to purple, and the female flowers emerge shortly after the male flowers. The flowers are wind pollinated in the spring. The fruit of shortleaf pine is a cone, a pine cone. The cones are egg-shaped and about two inches long and they're nearly sessile and they're green when they're immature. They tend to be a red to brown in color and have a small prickle or spike as they ripen. The pine cones mature in the fall of the second growing season. And once the cone ripens and dries out in late October to early November, the bracts open and the winged seeds fall out, usually landing relatively close to the parent tree. And about 90% of the seeds fall within the first two months of opening. The seeds overwinter on the ground, and those remaining germinate the following spring. However, many of the seeds are eaten by small mammals and birds. Shortleaf pine begins seed production around 20 years of age, with a good seed crop every 3 to 10 years and the cones will persist on the tree long after they are empty. Shortleaf pine seeds are an important food source for birds and small mammals over the lean winter months, and deer browse the seedlings and saplings, which also provide cover for wild turkey and bobwhite quail. The older, mature to overmature shortleaf pines with red heart rot provide habitat for cavity nesting birds. In fact, they are the primary nesting trees for the federally endangered red cockaded woodpecker.
the decline of older mature shortleaf pines has resulted in a decline in the population of red cockaded woodpecker. Shortleaf pine is also the larval host of the elfin butterfly. The bark on shortleaf pine is dark and rough and scaly on young trees. But as the tree ages, the bark becomes more of a reddish brown and it's broken into flat, scaly plates. And the plates have small surface pockets that are about the size of a pencil point, which are resin or pitch pockets. And this is a good characteristic to use in tree identification when you can't get to the needles. It's easy to tell shortleaf pine from pitch pine because shortleaf pine has pitch pockets and pitch pine does not have pitch pockets. Go figure. The wood of shortleaf pine is straight grained with fine to medium with a fine to medium texture. It's hard, dense, and has excellent strength to weight ratio. The heartwood is a reddish brown and the sapwood is yellowish white. The heartwood is rated as moderate to low in decay resistance. Overall, it works fairly well with most tools, though the resin can gum up tools and clog sandpaper. Shortleaf pine glues and finishes well. Shortleaf pine is used in heavy construction, such as bridges, beams, poles, railroad ties, etc. It's also used for making plywood and veneer and flooring and pulpwood. Even the tap roots are used for pulpwood, and the oleoresins from the tree are extracted to make turpentine. The national champion shortleaf pine is in Smith, Texas. It's 154 inches in circumference, 91 feet tall, with a 66-foot crown spread. The Kentucky Champion is in McCreary County in the Daniel Boone National Forest. It's 93 inches in circumference, 139 feet tall, with a 36-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Register of Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about shortleaf pine. A unique feature of shortleaf is the ability of young trees to sprout following fire. This sprouting ability is due to the development of a pronounced J-shaped crook at or below the ground surface. In the crook, numerous dormant buds develop which allow sprouting if the top is killed. During the Revolutionary War in the early 1800s, shortleaf pine was a major timber source in the eastern part of its range for a variety of products including shipbuilding and homes. In the western portion of its range, shortleaf pine dominated the forest industry during the mid to late 1800s and early 1900s until the Great Depression. It was so highly valued that loblolly pine timber was marketed as shortleaf. The scientific genus name Pinus is Latin for pine, and the species name Echinata is from the Greek, Greek echinos, which means hedgehog or prickly, in reference to the cone scales. Thanks for joining me today to learn about this pine. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the superb shortleaf pine.